Giannis on the break. He's got room from three. And oh my God. Oh my God, Muggsy's in the game. Oh, Muggsy just dropped that man. All right, 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 all right. So a few weeks, months ago, maybe, Charles Oakley basically said that Giannis is trash and would not survive in his era. Like a myriad of 90s players tend to say like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm built different. Sorry, we was real physical and rough and burly back in the day. He said that Giannis would come off the bench. That is genuinely exactly what he said. He said he would come off the bench. Uh, Isaiah Thomas, old man Isaiah Thomas, not the new one, said he's stupid for it. And I agree. Why would a dude that dominates off his physicality fold in the 90s? Well, today we're going to see. I really just took two years off his age so that he didn't regress too quickly. We were at the beginning of the 90s. It is 1990-91. Old man Larry Bird's out here. Obviously, the Bulls are out here. Have not won a ring yet, to be fair. This would be their first year. Giannis, the two-time MVP, probably already assumed to be a top 20, 25, if you could argue higher, probably, player of all time. And uh, if you want to see what the hell these rosters are, go look them up. I just want to get started, honestly. Uh, I'm see He goes quick scroll, but real quick, real quick. I just seen on the Wizards. Look at the god Bernard King. What's good? And uh, shout out to Charles Barkley, still on the Sixers. And I put him on the Bucks specifically, too, because they actually had the 16th pick in this year's draft of 1990 prior to this. So that was close enough to 15. I also removed the Pelicans, the Grizzlies, and the Raptors from the NBA because they weren't in the NBA yet. So there's that. Um, probably won't add them back. Don't care. They, they Two of them came in the league in 95, and then one came in like 03. Year number one, and unsurprisingly so, this bastard, this big Greek bastard is in a one-time, or my bad, an all-star starter. I don't know about one. He's a six-time all-star. Alongside Malone, Jordan, Robinson, Johnson, Magic Johnson, Charles Barkley, Patrick Ewing, who's actually the captain, John Stockton, Akeem, and Isaiah Thomas. Those are his, uh, you know, other starters. The team is 34 and 18. The Bulls aren't even in the playoff rate. You know what? Sure. Why? There's also no playing game. I removed it. Uh, I remember to remove it. It's not like it really matters, but hey. So yeah, you guys better step it up if you want to make the playoffs. And the Knicks, look at John Starks. There's Charles Oakley, the number one seed. Might have to face him sometime, somehow. Uh, you know, I'm going to be a little conflicted, misusing my influence, trying to think of which team to root for in that series. Shout out to Thurl Bailey. His my team cards are already always goaded. And the Jazz are actually the best team in the league. Oh, yeah. And um, shout out to this dude for making this roster. Seems pretty good to me. Carl Malone wins most valuable player. Lionel Simmons, rookie of the year. Jim Les. Michael Jordan wins DPOI. Quinn Snyder, coach of the year. Okay, so the coaches are the same still. Magic, Mike, Malone, Giannis, and Ewing are the All-NBA first team. Second team, Hardaway, Stockton, Barkley, Wilkins, and Olajuwon, third team, Harper, Petrovic, rest in peace, Drajan, Pippen, Kemp, and Robinson. 55 and 27 is our record. The Bulls did sneak it as the eighth seed, so you never know. Maybe they'll end up doing something. Manute Bowl and the Sixers. Yes, why not? Manute Bowl, the starting center, alongside Barkley, ended up the first seed. They surpassed the Knicks, and the Knicks were obviously second, and we were third. Miami is fourth with um, a team I actually almost put uh, Giannis on with Glenn Rice. Then you got Larry Bird, Celtics still holding on for dear life with his back injuries, although there's no injuries on in this. Bernard King makes the playoffs because he's the god. Reggie Miller makes the playoffs, and Michael Jordan. I can't ask for much better, although the Pistons, who are probably reigning champions at this point, yeah, they didn't make it, and their team is fantastic. They got DPOY Rodman, they got Joe Dumars, Bill Lambeer, uh, you know who they have. Kevin Johnson and Dan Marley, no Scotty, I mean, no, no Charles Barkley, but they still made the third seed, and the Clippers, led by Ron Harper, Danny Manning. Does anybody else remember? Now, on, on the old NBA Jam games on the iPhone, Danny Manning was the only legend, maybe 102 for the Clippers. I don't know why, I just remember that. The Spurs with David Robinson are pretty good. Nuggets, okay, let's just, uh, Lakers, Magic Johnson still holding on, Rockets, Kenny Smith and Lodge one, and then the Kings, Antoine Carr and Lionel Simmons. Also, I made the Seattle Supersonics into the Supersonics, even though I changed nothing else, because I'm pretty sure they bring out, like, the guillotine for you if you don't do this. You know, we went over this. All right, first round against Washington. This is Bernard King. Okay, let's see how this goes. Come on, Giannis. Game one is a win. Game two is a loss. Feels nice to be simulating again and not rebuilding. You know, it's it's a lot of pressure. But uh, we are down 3-0, so I still feel the pressure. And we're about to lose. Uh, maybe he would be a bench player because we're about to lose in the first round to Bernard King. And uh, Jay Humphreys was the leading scorer in this game. Giannis shot seven for 15 with six turnovers. He averaged 22. I didn't even look at his numbers. He averaged 26, 15, and six for the regular season and 22 13 and 5 in the postseason whereas uh Ladal equals was giving him buckets and Ho or no, no no harvey Gr isn't that horace's brother either way harvey grant defeated Giannis, and he was guarding Giannis. so there's that gave him 23 on 9 for 10 in the elimination game i mean oakley your, your claims may be valid you year one and the bulls go to the finals against the uh against the jazz and instead though carl malone wins the finals so the bulls even though they were struggling and barely made the playoffs it did end up defeating bernard king in the conference finals a six versus eight matchup but the utah jazz defeated the bulls
Bulls rather than getting defeated by the Bulls twice, I believe. We know the one shot, of course, you know, the last shot of Jordan's Bulls career, but uh, it doesn't matter. 4-1 win for Utah. They're the team to look out for right now. Adrian Dantley retired. Hey, who's hitting up the Robert Parrish Hall of Fame ceremony with me? Oh, oh where am I going? Oh, my bad. I actually didn't reset the picks, but maybe they did it for me because I, I actually took every team out of the... I don't know. Oh, I guess they did. I didn't do it, but I guess because I took teams out, they just reset the picks automatically. Yeah, there's only 27 teams. I didn't even see how many were in the lottery. There should have been some sort of different math on that. Maybe not. Actually, I guess not. It's just that less teams make the playoffs or less pe less teams miss the playoffs. Uh, who are we going to... Oh, yeah, right, right. I did load in the draft class, right? Yep, Larry Johnson, Matumbo. I got really scared for a second that I just screwed this up already. We drafted Elliot Perry. Sure, welcome to the team. Number 24 overall pick. And uh, free agency. Now, uh, you know, I can't match the contracts back to how they were in the olden days off rip. Well, the dude who made the roster did, but all it is is that th these guys are probably going to get way more money than expected and then things will even itself out. Scotty Pippen's actually a restricted free agent. Thanks to this guy for making him that. Uh, John Stockton could probably free, free, has free will to li leave. Live is crazy. Uh, he's probably like eight years in at this point. Kevin Johnson should be restricted, but we'll live. Don't worry. Anyway, we signed someone interesting. Come on, Giannis, get carried. Um, these three, wow, John Stockton, he had, he, he could have went anywhere he wanted to and he left to go and join Charles Barkley instead of Carl Malone. Uh, you know, there's a lot of reasons why Carl Malone could have pissed you off, even though they won a ring. But, uh, who cares? I mean, I care, but I don't. Bernard King goes to the Heat despite beating us. I mean, maybe they were the better team for him. They were pretty solid. So, yeah, a lot of players are going to leave and stuff. But no, nobody too crazy, except for Stockton, of course. Nobody too crazy. Giannis is Giannis. Now, I, I took his two years off of his age, like I said, so that he'll be 34 when this video ends. And we uh, we signed Brad Daughtery. Daugherty or Daughtery? I don't, I like Daughtery. He averaged 16 points with Cleveland last year. He was a pretty solid center around this time. And uh, that'll be our third 80 overall player alongside Giannis. Also signed Craig, or we traded for Craig Elo. And then Elliot Perry, actually, our drafted guy, might even start at point guard, I think. Yeah, he's going to start. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Dale Ellis, position shooting guard slash shooting guard. You are breaking the code. That man is one hell. He is a pure shooting guard. Next year's draft, if you guys want to tank, I wouldn't be opposed to it. It's Big Dog. Big Diesel, huh? You don't need a Shaq, huh? Google me, Chuck. It's happened in the same uh, voice as I would for Rick Ross to do Shaq's voice. Huh? The biggest. Uh, second in the conference is pretty good. Second in the conference, Team Charles and Team Carl's. Why'd I say Carl's plural? Because it rhymed. Uh, Giannis, seven-time All-Star. He was the second pick in the draft after Michael Jordan. Sounds pretty good to me. 35 and 19. We just dropped one game under the Wizards. The Sixers are obviously incredible because, yeah, John Stockton and Charles Barkley. I mean, come on now. They're going to be the team to watch. I don't know if we can beat them. Giannis may be fantastic. He's obviously not a bench player, but um, yeah, well, why, why can I see the war can I see the Warriors roster, please? Roster. There we go. Tim. Oh, they got run TMC still. Okay. And Tom Chambers, who should have been still in Phoenix, but now he's here. And obviously, Barkley is not getting traded to the Suns again. Akeem and the Rockets. So wait, this is 92. So Akeem and the Rockets are re reaching their expectations. And so are the Seattle Superstar. A lot of teams that uh, should have been good in real life or should would were good in real life being good in the game the bulls though they're not i mean i don't know stacy king at center maybe who knows do you need rodman i know you won three without him but hey i just suggested charles barkley philadelphia is he wearing 20 35 what number did he wear it was number 34 or 32 with the sixers but i bet you know what it's probably because he's retired that would make perfect sense dale davis rookie of the year gerald wilkins six man jordan wins another dpoi willie anderson steve kerr magic mike barkley malone and ewing so Giannis does not make the first team but of course he's gonna make the second one with Ronaldo Blackman and Hakeem Olajuwon as well. Also, yeah, so Ewing, uh, Ewing is playing kind of like Hakeem in this, I guess. He was, of course, fantastic, but I feel like Hakeem and David Robinson were, you know, a little bit more superior. I mean, they both won championships in this decade, and he he went to two, but won one. And actually, he lost to both of them. So there's that. Well, I, the second one, he didn't play, so I won't do that to him. Holy hell, we're playing the Knicks first round, and speaking of them, uh, Simon Wright is starting at small forward. Now, then again, they do have Ewing, who's a 90 overall. They have a bunch of 80s. They have one more 80 than us. But uh, we are the third seed, though. We're a higher seed than them. So that, you know, for good reason, hopefully. The Bulls made the eighth seed again. We'll see if they can make it to the finals. We win game one, win game two, win, lose game three, lose game four. Don't blow this lead. Thank you very much. And 3-3. Three, three. We're in game seven. That's the game that I was waiting for, but not have not not hoping for it, but anticipating. I was assuming that that was going to happen. Giannis dropped 22, 21, 10, 2, and 2 in the last game. He's averaging 26, 13, and 5 in this year's run. A little bit worse shooting in the regular season where he averaged 29 12 and 5 on 55 percent shooting but you know you take what you can get he probably you know he's going to a patrick ewing led paint so i'll let him rock but you got to win this game though you can't lose back-to-back -back years in the first round as the higher seed i believe come on yo what are we doing here come on why is this happening i'm feeling the vibes to jump in i want to see either his demise or his comeback why not is he not in the did he foul out 
honest, no, he did not foul out. Uh, screw it. I'm not gonna let them be stupid. I'm gonna summon back in. A shout out to Anthony Mason. Rest in peace, Anthony Mason. But uh, you're not starting over, Giannis. Mark Jackson go, throws it down in Daughtery with the steal. Okay, hold on. Only, uh, you know I mean? Two minutes left. Uh, Perry brings it up the other way. Perry down to the big man. Perry back out. Elo mid-range shot is off, you bastard. Mark Jackson. He throws the ball away again. Wait, whoa, whoa. Da Daughtery. Yo, again, bro? Come on. Come on. A little more, you know, finesse something. Try. I don't pass into the corner. Come on. We need a timeout. We need Z uh, Giannis back in the game. Almost at Zion. Pass that. He threw away the ball again. So this is what happens in the post-up era. You just throw the ball away. No post-ups. Jackson down to Ewing. Ewing, he shoots an awful shot. <laughs> this is what you guys were watching in the 90s? Come on. No wonder they were scoring 90 to 90. 75 to 75. Come on, Brad. Don't throw the ball away again. Okay. They're not going to run that. Elo trying to ISO. Elo to the... He missed it. He had all front rim. Jesus Christ. This is a disaster of a fourth quarter. Or final two minutes. Jackson. Uh, what the hell? going on yo he wasn't even yo w do we have like the sliders for turnovers turned up he didn't even throw it to ewing he threw it to dory uh pat okay i'm not gonna lie i started using sliders recently too like sliders to make the gameplay more realistic and they've been working greatly but what the hell is going on today Pass. oh Giannis is back yeah and he got okay daughter i mean but this game is over though this this is far from over i mean f no it, it's long overdue long over long overdue that i just click the button and get the hell out of here Giannis, a good game but we didn't even get to see you play i mean hell they probably would have thrown the ball away from you anyway so we just lost again in the first round second year remember we only got eight years or something like that barkley wins finals mvp a 4-0 sweep of the clippers now we may have not beaten them and neither did the knicks we could have made it to the conference finals or we could have just beaten it. you could have been Giannis, and Giannis did Giannis. mo cheeks retired nba draft lottery for shaquille o'neal we did not trade for do i have trades on like what is going oh wait yeah I, I yeah no i definitely i saw craig elo get traded they just don't like trading picks in this what the did the pistons just move up from 11 to 4 pistons if you get the first pick you you got the second pick but you're still an incredibly lucky franchise for that even in the simulations that i've done where we're doing with 15 teams or 14 teams of the lottery i don't think i've ever seen the 11th pick move up to the top four i've always seen 10 maybe maybe 11 once i don't know the nba draft um i don't even know why i'm in here i mean we were pretty good oh yeah no no no. just, just simulate out we, we have a pick too yeah just simulate out. shaq goes to the mavericks they get alonzo morning in detroit i mean i they won't complain about that and tony i have to remove tony kukoc from the league why because i already saw him on the bull look 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 uh wait where is he did they trade him i maybe i look i look again never mind i guess he disappeared so you you vibe out bro i don't yeah, i was looking at a different roster and i'm just hallucinating or something uh isaiah wait did they just de decline isaiah thomas's team option oh no it's a player option he declines that he wants more than 20 million fair play our team's gonna accept nobody and barkley's a free agent so he could just completely screw up with him and stockton have a good thing going and uh isaiah thomas you want to come over to milwaukee oh they offered him some good money but i think he's gonna go i mean you never know you never know everybody can offer him we all got money the, the you know the contract ain't perfect just yet give it like three years and they will be a uh, bird might go to the pistons that'd be a culture shock and uh we'll see what happens barkley yes we got the, we got a yes isaiah Tom hold on the article's still up article's still up look at this isaiah thomas properly best charles oakley for yeah 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 and now he's like now he's supporting his own theories his own clauses his own claims the, the narrative could have went any better what am i going to connect the honest to somebody else in the 90s so he leaves detroit and larry bird went back to the celtics anyways isaiah thomas a 32 year old no injury troubles in this simulation so i'm very excited to see what they can do for the next um four years of his contract hopefully Giannis reset oh, up sorry i didn't mean to oh that's armin gillian that's a dude from the video i just did shout out to him and wow we got isaiah thomas he is regressing but it's okay he should at least be like an 85 plus and, and he's isaiah thomas so i mean Giannis, just imagine like Giannis on those bad boy pistons you could say all you want about players nowadays not being built different or not being tough but that man is a smooth pure 242 muscle i don't care what you say but now we got brad we got isaiah we got got ricky pierce one of our 80s left but we'll live uh elliot perry i think he had a pretty solid year yeah you know you're a young guy and armin did we draft anybody uh we drafted john barry the, the son of rick barry brother of brent i did not even know he was in 2k like that's definitely a face scan isn't it uh maybe you'll get some minutes i don't know i don't decide these things this year is definitely the weber draft yeah yeah weber and penny hardaway random shout out jesse keenan with a kirby profile picture hey click just wanted to say big thanks for your style of videos i work overnight and can only listen your commentary and play-by-players are so good to keep up with everything you're doing shout out to jesse i appreciate the comments i don't know i just was reading it and i felt like giving some appreciation why would i not give some i'm recording a video why not Giannis antetokounmpo we are the what how do we drop in seating how do we get isaiah thomas and get worse Giannis, maybe you need the ball more um they're both shooting 50 plus percent from the field rex chapman's here i didn't know that but uh okay uh you know what though this is gonna be like a bulls team we're gonna be trash in the regular season and good in the playoffs i'm calling it right now wait actually it might be kind of close tightly knotted though the conference it is uh yeah 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 
literally two more wins and we could be the second, third seed, third seed. The 76ers and the Charlotte Hornets led by Ken Kendall Gill, the NBA 2K13 God. If you had this man in my team, I was a 11 year old or 12 year old playing the, that game. First ever my team. That my team, I remember, Um, you know, I love really every game mode in 2K. I, you, you know, I've posted my career videos on this channel. I have my team videos on my second channel. I used to stream my team a lot. But back when my team first started, there was no MT like my team points. You know, why not? Uh, let's say a quick shout out to my my team. You know what I'm saying? Give that guy a contract. We This is beautiful. I got some maybe mid players off the bench. Don't talk to me. But yeah, I remember uh, when the game ended, like when the 2K13 cycle ended, when the season ended and they stopped updating the players on there, it was that you had to buy players with VC off the auction house if you wanted a specific player, right? And I remember that Al Horford was in like an 84 overall and the most expensive player. You had to spend 27,000 VC, I think it was from. I'll never forget that. I don't know if I've ever mentioned in the video. I'd be surprised if I haven't, but hey. Remember how we needed two wins for the second seed? Well, we just lost a bunch of games, so there's that. Hell, we might not make the playoffs. Okay, never mind. Here we go. Has isn't the Sixers thing hashtag here they come? I randomly like heard it on the broadcast the other day. Oh, uh, Charles Barkley, most valuable player. Shaquille O'Neal, rookie of the year. Cedric Sabalos, sixth man of the year. Patrick Ewing wins DPOI, averaging 34 and 16. My God. Kevin Edwards, most improved. And Luke Walton, is that the Kings? Wait, wait, what? I don't, you're not even a coach. I would assume it's the Kings. I don't know. All NBA first team is like the same as last year, but um, second team, Giannis again, 28, 12, and five per game. Spud Webb made the all NBA second team, five foot seven Spud Webb. My God. Okay, Isaiah. The second Isaiah Thomas, you know what I meant. Dominique Wilkins, Atlanta Hawks, averaging 31 on the third team. Hakeem Olajuwon makes the third team. He's definitely not playing as well as he usually does in simulations, but for the better for us, because we don't need any more players to run into. We're already losing every year in the first round, and we're playing the Pistons. Joe Dumars at point guard against Isaiah Thomas is very interesting, and Giannis against Rodman. Now, Rodman's only an 81, but I don't really care because they're really good. Oh, and rookie Alonzo Mourning. We lost by two games in the first, uh, fir two points in the first game. Second game, we lose by another two points. Just Simcast, bro. I get it. It's the first round. We can't make it out, so might as well Simcast. Lost the first two games by two points each. Well, that's, you know, that's promising, though. It means we, we can maybe win a game. Maybe. You never know. It's a possibility. Um, We're up by four with 50 seconds left. We're good. We're good for this one. That Another very close game. I'm going to continue to Simcast. Giannis drops 35, 10, and 7 against in, in Alonzo's paint. Another, e this one's easy, though. This one's easy. 30 and 15. Rex Chapman dropped 20. When I traded for you, I'm, I've seen, I think Rex Chapman's like an NBA Twitter head. I've seen him on there before. He has like 100, like 300,000 subscribers or something. Unless I'm tripping and thinking of the wrong person. Speaking of Twitter, you know what I'm saying? Follow the dog on Twitter and Instagram. The link's in the description and follow me on um on Kick and MySpace and, uh, and Mixer. Now, this is a big time game, right? Because first of all, is Giannis not in this game again? Real quick. Is Giannis, is he, where is he? I don't see, where's the fourth player? The, the, no, he's not in the game. Passing Isaiah Thomas. At least he's in here. Isaiah to the basket. He hop steps. He gets nowhere. He's got, he's still around the back. He could have maybe taken that. Pat Lever, the screen by Daughtery. He goes right down to Brad. Brad, the dunk is easy. Three point lead. Lonzo Morning into Mayberry. Is Dumars at the three or something? I think, I, yeah, he's number four, isn't it? Mayberry down to Morning. Morning guarded by Daughtery in the post. The rookie, the layup is off. Rebound by Brad. Daugherty, Daugherty. Which one? Man, I don't pass over to Thomas. IT around the basket. He misses the close shot. Come on, bro. I seen you in the finals before it dropped like 40 with a sprained ankle or something. I think he tore something. I forget. It wasn't an Achilles, though. And they threw away the ball again. Fleming over to Perry. Perry is going nowhere. Perry down to Thomas again around the basket. He's going to take the layup. It's off. Come on, Isaiah. You got to show him the bag, bro. I seen you hitting your little tween tweens back in the 90s, the late 80s, the, the early 80s. Shrimp to the basket. Deadlift back out to this dude for three. Whoever that is, Mayberry for three, and it's good. Please take a timeout and get Giannis in this basketball game. Or not. Uh, Isaiah, okay, there goes the bag. The bag I've been, you know, f oh, oh my god, how did you miss? That was so pretty. That was a beautiful move. I get it. You got a taller defender on you, but like, okay, beautiful. Why am I locked onto the wrong player? Who cares? Dennis Rodman, why would you check him in for offense? I don't know. But they subbed him in, and Giannis checks in. Thank God. But he's guarding, you know, leave Giannis. You're, you're an incredible help defender. It was clowning you for not guarding this person or that person throughout the years because, but, but your, your help defense. Come on. We need the help. Oh my God. Never mind. Brad, another steal. What is good with the steals? Giannis, I swear you better set up in the post this 
this play. Or just get, I guess, just get the ball. He's going to end up shooting a three, isn't he? The pass into nah, nobody. No, Mr. Antetokounmpo. Hello. And we threw away the ball again. Five seconds left. Mayberry bringing it up. He's going to shoot it from like half court. He pulls up. It is off. That time we just threw it away because we didn't have a pass in from the inbounds. That is nuts. That man Robin was all over Giannis, I guess. You couldn't have hit him with a little, you know what I'm saying? A little juke or something. I don't what do you what more do you want? Like like OT. This is only game four of the first round. We have yet to make it out of the first round. So you know of a big deal here. And we're going to tie it up because they just folded in the in the quarter. In, in the OT, my bad. Rex Chapman, 21 points again. But Giannis did have 40, but uh, you couldn't catch the basketball just to end the game. I mean, it's not like he, I don't know if he would have done much anyways with the ball in his hands from all the way out there with six seconds left. But hey, wait, that was game that was game five. I thought that was game four. Tie it up. We're going on to the second round. See you later, Pistons. Giannis averaged 36 and 11 in this series on 62%. He needed a teammate. Simple. That's all. Uh, the Hornets. Okay, this team is pretty good. We should be able to beat them. Christian Leitner and Elmore Spencer defending your paint. I We should be good. Let's see. Hopefully, this is another game where we lose by only two. Jesus Christ. I wish it was a game we lost by two. We lost by 30. Chuck Person out here giving you 33. Next game, we win, though. We win this one by a good amount of points on our end. 39 from Giannis. Another game is a win from them. Another blowout. Another game is a win from them. Another blowout. And now look, we're down 3-1. But remember when the Cavs and the Warriors were playing and Kyrie and LeBron started dropping 40 every game? Well, Giannis has dropped 40 again. Just need that. You know, we just blow them up. We don't need close games. No, no, no. Guys, guys, come on. This, this, this is outdated. You know, this is in the old era. Old, we are in the old era. We are going to force a game seven off the 3-1. Back in Charlotte, the number one seed. This is a bit impressive, but they, they're not. Come on. We should be able to hang with them. We are, but we aren't. We definitely aren't. We're down by, oh God. Yeah. Yeah. This is not looking good. This is, come on. Come, one more bucket and I'll jump in. I'm just overly hopeful. Um, Giannis is yet again not in the game. I hate this. Oh my God. Isaiah, what a crossover. And he gets blocked. This game's over. Oh my God. Muggsy's in the game. Oh, Muggsy just dropped that man. Muggsy to the, and he dropped the ball too. Look at the Muggsy cross. Oh my God. Uh, get him going. That's the Isaiah Tom. I mean, the, the Allen Iverson S cross. This dude, Les is clamped up. A fat lever with the basketball. You are way too old for this role. Uh, and he's going to pass it down to Brad. Brad, come on, shoot it. Big fella, shoot it. There you go. Six point deficit, 117 left. We just need one more stop. Put Giannis in the game, please. Stop being stupid. Workman. That's a very straightforward last name. He's going to pass it down to Leitner. Leitner in the post. He's going to have spin. Oh my God. He is bullying everybody. And the three is good. That's it. We're going to lose in game seven. I give up. Uh, Yeah, that, that's definitely the dagger. Matt, you know, you know how demoralizing it is when that happens to your favorite team, like in a real NBA game. You know how silent the crowd gets if it's like a home game. 37 from Giannis. He had a beautiful playoff run, but um, we lose. Milwaukee Bucks have been eliminated in the second round. So, so far, Giannis in the 90s, two first round exits, the exits in the second round. And will Charlotte win the ring? The, they, the Spurs win the championship. David Robinson gets one before Tim Duncan's even drafted, and he probably won't go there if it is good. I believe Robinson was injured the whole season prior to Tim Duncan getting drafted. So, uh, yeah, there's that. But um, I wanted to see the Sixers lost to the Knicks in the first round. That should have been the finals favorite, but they lost. Was it last year that, which one did Malone, oh no, wait, yeah, Malone, Morty losing track. When Malone, okay, so the Sixers, yeah, they, they didn't even make it to the finals past the first round after make, winning the championship. I think we already know Giannis's playoff run was insane. You see the stats, dog. 34, 11, and 5 on 62%. Everybody else played a decent role, but yeah, that's really it. Kiki Vandaway retired. The NBA draft lottery for big dog. There goes a traded pick. Phoenix traded their pick. I guess teams are just a little bit smarter, not trading all their first round picks, you know? But uh, this one's for Chris Webber. Let's see who wins it. Uh, all I know is it wasn't us. The Wizards, Heats, Mavericks, Nuggets, Kings. He played for the Wizards. Well, they were the Bullets. I didn't change them back to the Bullets, but uh, he played for the Bullets at a point in his career, I believe. So he's there. Sean Bradley goes number four. You ain't no athlete, you Sean Bradley. Uh, I feel like Giannis might be a free agent. No, he's not. Wait, is this what his contract in real life? He has one year left. Now, I will allow him to leave. Uh, you know what I mean? If he wants to, he can. Only a 10-year sim, so you know what I mean? You get, your, get your money up. Get your money up, get your wins up, all that. And this is a big time for Angie. Carl Malone leaves after John Stockton left him to the Magic. Reggie Miller. Okay. We did a simulation recently where Reggie Miller went to the Knicks. He did it again. He did it again. Reggie Miller is a New York Knicks. John Stockton goes to the Mavericks. He only signed a two-year deal in Philadelphia, and now he leaves to the Mavericks, who just drafted Shaq. It's very easy to keep track of. There's not too many great players. We're in the greatest era of basketball right now in real life. Yeah, that's right. You heard me. So it's very hard in real life to keep track. Plus, and I, you know, we got to draft some great players like Chet Holmgren when I do simulations. But in, in the past, come on now. We know, we know these bastards. He, uh, Hakeem's a rocket for life until he gets traded to the Raptors. Wilkins with the Hawks. Dumars with the Pistons. Magic Johnson stays with the Lakers. Okay, a lot of stuff, you know, continuity continues. But uh, Reggie Miller, Knicks, Stockton, Mavericks, and Malone to the Magic was a 99 overall. Maybe the only 99 overall. Him and Jordan, probably. Giannis, we signed really nobody. Nobody at all. 
Oh, we signed Vlade. That's it. All play. Okay, Malone actually regressed. So now Giannis, Jordan, and Carl Malone are the top three players in the league. Obviously, Mike has yet to win a ring, but he did make it one year against the odds. And yeah, so on and so forth. Workman is a 93. Who the hell? Oh, he actually, this is a real dude? I did not know that. Round two, pick 22. Shout out to him. Was that after they made it only two rounds? I think it was. I think it was. Oh, hey, look who it is. Old pals. John Stockton, Carl Malone of the All-Star Captains. Haywood Workman. Sure, why not? Why, you, go, you know, do what you got to do. Giannis got demoted to the bench of the All-Star team. Is Giannis a fraud? He is a bench player, an All-Star bench player, Oakley, you bastard. Sorry, I can't say that about Oakley. He's, he's, I know I've said this before, but I've met him a couple times, and he's a cool guy. Look, he's a cool guy. I like him. I got his autograph upstairs on my wall. But you did say something stupid. You did. And he's still the first seed. Charles Oakley averaging seven. A smooth seven. We are the third seed, despite Giannis being off the bench, so we're fine. We're good. He, uh, 29, 11, and 5. Yeah, who cares? Yeah, no, I guess everybody else is just insane. And the Supersonics? Who Richardson. Shout out to Derrick Rose. Gary Payton's at the two. And Sean Kemp's not even here anymore. Patrick Ewing is the most valuable player. 31 and 16 per game. I'd be happy to see you win a ring, number one seed, but, uh, I, you know, I, I'm rooting for someone else here. Giannis, DPOY. Thank you, thank you. You got an award. I thought this was like a fake Tracy McGrady for a second. I don't know why. JB Bickerstaff, coach of the year. Giannis does not make the first team again. Kevin Johnson does, though. Jordan doesn't either. Jordan made the second team with Giannis and Spud Webb, the GOAT. The manager's running down and dunking on people every single play now, I guess. He's not, he doesn't even have a three point shot. Hardaway, Scott Skiles, Kemp on the Lakers. Okay. Kemp is a 92 on the Lakers. How did I not know that that happened? Might have just bugged out and missed it. Or I said it and I just forgot. All right. First round against uh, the Charlotte Hornets again, who we lost to last year. And they have Haywood. Haywood going crazy. I feel like they don't have somebody, though, that they had. Maybe Kendall Gill. First game's a win. Second game's a win. Third game's a make it four. 4 0. Come on. Come on. Don't blow no 3 0 lead. Don't do it. Don't. Oh, my. If we blow a 3 0 lead, I'm not even looking at a stat until the series ends. Show me what happens. Tell me what you got. No, they just they just got bodied. We just had a mean. I don't even know if I can go over this whole thing, but look, uh, it was 98 and 94. Does that say Curry dunk made? Do they mean Stephen Curry? Because that's not Curry dunk made. Dell, I get it. You're tall. You can dunk, but like Divock shot missed. Yeah, they just we just we just kind of sold. I guess I don't really know. We were kind of scoring, but they were just hitting a bunch of threes and scoring more. I guess they are going to come back from down 3-0 on us. I've seen it all. Um, I yeah. Giannis, I guess you know maybe uh yeah maybe this 90s thing isn't for you, but you got some years to prove it. And the New York Knicks are gonna win. Shout out to Patrick Ewing, MVP champion, no DPOI. I was trying to see if he got the Hakeem thing going for him. Because we are in 94, aren't we? Right? This is a draft. Yeah, yeah, we're in 94. So uh, no Hakeem. He he was actually the first seed. We could have had the same matchup, but he lost to the Clippers with Ron Harper and and uh, D Brown, the dude who did the dunk where he put the elbow over his face. He's an 87 overall. Mark Eden retired. Man, we need to trade for a pick. That's what I would do right now if I was rebuilding this team. Trade for a pick. Get somebody better because um, where are we at? Bucks, Bucks. 22nd. I doubt we get anybody significant. Eric Patowski. Nice. Giannis is a free agent though. Hold on. Oh wait, no, is he not? Is he not? Did he accept his, he accepted his player option. Okay. I mean, it's 51 million. I can't blame you. I bet Patrick Ewing leaves now that the Knicks won the championship. Uh, nope. He went back. He's loyal. And Charles Oakley also went back on a four year, 68 mil. Wow. He got his bag. Isaiah Thomas goes two overalls lower. We had a lot of years to try and take advantage of this duo and we have not done anything with it. I mean, his points went down by like four, but hey, he also doesn't shoot threes. We don't have like any three point shooters. We're in the mid nineties. You know, I mean, you got to adapt a little bit. We have three non shooters in our starting lineup. Yeah, that's definitely an issue. I'm not going to lie. I feel like this would be the perfect year to just tank and get Kevin Garnett, please. I mean, I don't know. Actually, I mean, I want to see it, but like we already got Isaiah Thomas. We're winning a lot of games yet. Only the third seed. Oh, there it goes first. There it goes first and second. Whatever. We're bouncing around. Carl Malone and Akeem are the captains. Giannis is off the bench again, but we are the first seed this year. Yes, the first seed. He's averaging 20. Okay, hold on. We got Gerald Wilkins. We signed or traded for or something. Jared Wilkins. Uh, Jim Less is averaging 11 points. He's a 76, but he's holding it down. Nick Van Exel is here. You know, they used to call him Nick the Quick. Man, had a mean cross. Oh, Danny Fair. Oh, wow. This is the dude that's in 2K all the time. In my team, they, they release a card of him that's because he's a 6'10 small forward and make him cheesy as hell. Or is that his like dad or something? Am I tripping? I like it was an older player. Whatever. Who cares? Carl Malone, most valuable player with the Magic. Jason Kidd wins rookie of the year. No co rookie of the year. Sorry, they don't do that in this game. Where's Grant Hill? Oh my God. And maybe he should have won it. Might, might get, he averaged 26 points in his rookie season. I mean, eh, you know, all around stat line, but it depends on who won more, I guess. We'll go off that. Giannis, DPOI, Luther Wright, Mike Budenholzer. Okay, so Mike Budenholzer is still the coach of this team. So Giannis, you should know the system, you know. Giannis, DPOI, he does make the third team, though. He does not make the second or the first. First round against Philly. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. John Stockton left. So it's Charles Barkley versus Giannis. There's no way you. Oh, my God. He got cooked first game by Barkley with a triple double. Second game. Okay, we win. Third game, we lose.
lose. Fourth game, we're down 3-1 in the first, in the first round. The first, the first. As the first seed, we lost. We just got, we lost in five. Is Giannis a fraud? Maybe. He played well enough, but I mean, no, no, he didn't. And then the Knicks beat them, and then the Knicks lose to the Spurs in five. Why did I say five? It was seven. David Robinson, wow, went to OT in a three-point win. My God. Oh, I forgot that it's Reggie Miller and Ewing. I completely drew a blank on that. Because Ewing won MVP last year, I believe. Yeah, he did. He won MVP in 2025. I could have sworn he. you'd have to be like alone and not with another star, but yeah, no. And they got Scott Burrell, the GOAT. Extra player? Come on, you can't retire extra player. Extra player? Come on, you can't retire extra, extra player. Tom Thibodeau of the Timberwolves retired. He went back and couldn't do anything again. Although that may be a good sign for um the Timberwolves, you know, the the like for their draft odds to get KG again. Malone, Mikhail, and who's hitting up the Bernard King Hall of Fame ceremony with me? I know I am. The draft lottery. And the Timberwolves have number two best odds. Let's see if they can win it. They do not. They fall down four slots. And the Brooklyn Nets, which are the New Jersey Nets, but they kind of, you know, their rebuild is pretty cool. So why not leave it? They have the perfect opportunity to draft KG. Make sure I got the draft class in here. Yes, indeed. Who are we going to draft first and foremost? We have no picks. We traded that pick. Kevin Garnett goes to the Nets. Bryant Reeves, McDice, Stackhouse, Rashid Wallace to the Nuggets. And Giannis is 110% a free agent this year. So Giannis and Michael Jordan. Um, the Bucks offered Charles Barkley, but not Giannis yet, at least. We'll see what happens, but they maybe they gave up. Maybe they're the ones that are going to say, hey, oh, yeah, you are a fraud. Sorry, buddy. Who knows? Simulate. And Giannis stays with the Bucks. He stays with the Bucks. They found out. So it didn't matter that he didn't have an offer. They still found a way. Was he restricted? No, I, I can't. I don't think he could have been. He played way too many years. I know it says more years than he's actually played, but whatever. And Michael Jordan goes to Los Angeles. I guess he didn't want it. He wanted to start his own legacy on the Clippers rather than the Lakers, maybe. I don't, I don't know. But he goes to the Clippers where Ron Harper was, and they were playing great. Now they have Jordan alongside this team. So he gave up on Scottie Pippen, who is now at point guard. Maybe he already was or currently a point guard. And uh, Giannis is back, obviously. Let's see if we sign anybody else. Workman went to the Nuggets, by the way. He left the Hornets or the whatever the hell. And Barkley went to the Timberwolves. So they now have whoever the hell they drafted second. I forgot already. And Or my bad. They were fourth. I forget. Sean Kemp to the Pistons. Reggie Lewis to the Cavaliers. He was already on the Cavaliers. Glenn Rice to Houston. And so on and so forth. Larry Johnson. We signed nobody. At least nobody significant. Buck Johnson. Sure. Why not? Dana Barros. Those are actually some good signings. I'm not going to lie. That's Those are some good 280 overalls. I, I got to respect it. We're already the first seed. So, hey, we'll see what happens. The 1995-96 season, this would be another good year to tank, but we're way too good for that. We were the first seed. We just need to win in the first round. Win. Charles Barkley, the playoff killer of Giannis. Don't talk so much trash on TNT. Giannis, all-star starter. We're the fifth seed, though. We're, you know, we'll see what happens, man. It does sound like the first seed matters. I want to shout out JJ Redick. I just saw a clip of him on Twitter going nuts on old dude about talking about uh draymond doing you know how draymond got kicked out by that game and then did a podcast he did his own podcast i'll shout out to jj reddick he was backing up draymond for doing so and he, he's like been at espn for probably like six months and he's already one of the most like revolutionary figures because he's actually just saying the truth it's funny because espn probably just let him in and expected nothing because like they're like oh let's just let him as like another guest player to his peer on the episode but now he's become like the, the goat of it or whatever the, one of the best he's the luca of it Shaq wins the most valuable player okay we've seen you be garbage in a lot of these so like you know i mean Shaq's player model and 2k tendencies all that is usually just mid the so 29 and 16 is pretty impressive that's that's Shaq. that's Shaq. all right he wins mvp in his wow we're in year four of Shaq's career kevin garnett rookie of the year okay with brooklyn or well, you know new jersey whatever who cares Shaq dpoi as well oh he's about to take over latrell sprewell most improved player shout out to latrell i used to have this little figurine of latrell in my in my uh room or something uh, it's just like him dunking you know the little the, like the one i had a mellow that was it's over there now but you know if you know you know jim Jamal Mosley, 63 or 19. Giannis, I don't care about these other first teams. I don't care that Jordan's on the Clippers. We don't. Giannis makes the second team. 50 and 32. We are 13 games worse than the Magic and 10 games worse than the Knicks. So like last year was our primetime year to at least make it far. And we just fumbled it. Scott Skiles and Carl Malone is basically just off brand John Stockton and Carl Malone. And the man had 30 assists in a game. So he's got to be pretty decent at passing. And uh, then the Mavericks won 60 games with Shaq and John Stockton. Another great duo. And then uh, Kenny, Kenny Smith, Glenn Rice, Otis Thorpe. Hakeem 160 games. Michael Jordan's team almost 160 games. The Tim Rules 150 games. So we are pretty mid tier. We're not like, you know, we're not otherworldly. And Isaiah Thomas is currently coming off the bench. I don't know how to explain that one, but hey, first round against the Pistons again. One of the only teams we've actually, maybe the only team we've beat. They have Simon Wright. Yo, why does that wasn't Simon Wright the starter on the Knicks? Why does he keep on starting on teams? They have uh, Sean Kemp against Giannis. Please don't. Oh my God. First game we lost. Second game we won. Third game we lost. Fourth game we won. Fifth game we won. One and another win. Cool. 
we made it out the first round. We upset kind of whatever. Giannis 29, 10, and 5 on 52 from the field. Next round, Orlando that we have to play against Carl Malone and Scott Skiles. Malone, another big time matchup at, for Giannis at power forward, and we get swept. We get swept. He bodies him. Carl Malone averaging 30 and 15 on 53%, on 54 from three as well. He probably hasn't shot many, but I wonder if he can shoot him now. He can. Oh my God. He's only shot 13. So yeah, he really doesn't shoot threes. And they have Allen Houston off the bench and Scott Skiles. Yeah, we need like a young player. They uh they drafted Allen Houston a couple years ago, then signed Malone. Well, Giannis is locked in with Milwaukee for the future. And uh the Magic are gonna win the championship. Carl Malone now has two rings and Michael Jordan has none. How the turntables. Speaking of Michael Jordan, he was able to make it to the conference finals, but lost to Shaq. MVP Shaq and MVP Shaq got swept by Malone. Speaking of Malone, Jeff Malone retired. Ralph Sampson retired and is a 65 overall. And Dennis Rodman retired. 76 overall, 36 year old. What year are we in? We're in uh so this is 96. So he was supposed to win 96, 97, 98. He didn't even he didn't win 96, but he should have had at least two more left in him. The draft lottery, man. We need a pick. God. And the 76ers are going to win the first overall pick again. Will they draft Allen Iverson? I'm gonna simulate straight through it. Hopefully, I load it in the draft class. The moment of truth. If I'm an idiot, I'm not. Kobe Bryant, they draft the man from uh, Pennsylvania or uh, Italy. I don't he's, he was from Pennsylvania. I don't know. Lower Marion High School. Number one overall, Kobe Bryant. Allen Iverson falls to three to the Phoenix Suns. And Stefan Marbury is gonna join Kevin Garnett. So actually, they're teamed up again like it's Minnesota. Ray Allen to the Pacers and so on and so forth. Who did we draft? Cliff Curry, not Steph, not Dell, not Seth, not even Seidel, not even Damian Lee, not even Austin Rivers. Cliff Curry. We're gonna accept Van Exel's team. Did we draft him? Oh, wow. We actually did. Or I, I don't know. Did we? Yeah, I guess we did. I mean, that's a, that's a good player to draft, but and why are we not signing back this guy? He's a 77 overall. I feel like it's a pretty solid player. I don't know. I'm not going to control them though. Isaiah Thomas, I was about to say, he's got to be a free agent by this point, right? There he is, 85 overall. I mean, that means that we have a lot of money now, at least, or some money, or we might just lose him and get nobody. We got Scotty. Scotty Pippen is a Milwaukee buck. Just going a little bit south, you know what I'm saying, to come to Milwaukee and uh, from Chicago. Or we no, lo, wait, no, I think it's north. I'm an idiot. Okay, yeah, definitely is north. I was thinking about Detroit to uh, to Chicago for some reason. Could Earl Jenkins still alive and well in this roster? That man is always there if you need to sign somebody. And Reggie Miller goes to the Celtics. Carl Malone stays with the Magic. Shaq stays with the Mavericks. Avery Robinson stays Spur for life. Kevin Johnson to the Magic. Pooh Richardson to the Knicks. Wait, wait, wait. So they got Kevin Johnson and Carl Malone now? My God, that team's even better. But we do have Scottie Pippen. That's interesting. And we already were starting Dana Barros. And now we have Van Exel as well, who's an 80 overall. We didn't really need Isaiah anymore. We needed to move elsewhere. But I don't know if Scottie Pippen's that guy. Well, guess we'll see. I mean, him and Jordan didn't win anything. So if it's Michael Jordan, then, you know, uh, uh, what are we going to, what is Giannis going to do with him? Holy, so far it is working like a charm. We only have eight losses, the least in the league, as we lose another game. And, uh, okay, cool. We're, we're, we just blew out the Pacers and the Knicks. And I believe Reggie Miller just signed. Oh, no, no, I, I forget. Who cares? They got to do something. They got to be something, you know? Um, Can I add an expansion teams? We're in 96. I'd be a year or two late, but I just add in all three at this point. Why not? And we could just add in random ones. It doesn't even have to be the correct teams. Why not? Uh, but did I turn that feature on? I may have not. Hey, look, I, I don't know if this is going to work, but I added a cool Pelicans team. I don't know what the Nashville stars are doing here, but um, I don't really know how to like like confirm this or not, but hey, I was feeling a Giannis captain year, but at the very least, he's back to being a starter. Chris Webber wins most viable player in his uh, fourth year, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris Webber, good for him. Stephon Marbury, rookie of the year. Shaq, DPOY, Jalen Rose, most improved. D Brown, six man. Doc Rivers, coach of the year. Uh, first team, screw all of you. I don't care. Where's Giannis? Giannis is on the second team. Okay, so here's the first team. I mean, it's it's pretty obvious. You could see it. 57 and 25 are one game off of the of the number one. Scotty Pippen averaged 13, 7, and 8. Sure, you filled the role, I guess. We traded for BJ Armstrong. Um, We traded our other point guard we had. Uh, Dana Barros, was that who it was? We traded him. Wherever the hell he is, he's gone. Gerald Wilkins is uh, our starting shooting guard, and Brad Daughtery is still here. Bucks for life. He might be an issue, though, because he's 7 foot, shooting under 50%, and he's not even shooting threes. Hell is up with him. Just put Giannis at center. Maybe it's his fault. First round, Charlotte. I don't care who's on your team. We're going to be up 3-2 after being down 2-0 and we won. I was very scared at that. I'll be honest, but hey, let me be honest. Let me be honest. I play with the bugs, but Carl Malone versus Giannis again. They are the third seed. We are the second seed. They win the first game. They win the second game. They win the third game and they, okay. Don't give me false hope. Don't do dare. Don't you dare. And here it is, the false hope. My God, are they ever going to put this bastard in at the end of the game? I guess I'll wait till the next dead ball. At the very least, Scotty Pippen's in number five over there. Young Scotty Pippen. Doherty is ISOing on Carl Towns. What is going on? The pump fake, the post up, the pass over to Robinson. Robinson trying to get around the defense. He takes the layup. That's off. We're down by one with uh with 230 left. The pass over to the corner. Dennis Scott misses the three. Robinson again.
again, you see Giannis trying to sub in. Pass over to Pippen. Pippen, the, the pass fake, and now he's going to ISO. No, pass it back to Robinson. Come on, Pippen. You're 91. Do something. Oh, my. What a mismatch. We finally got a pass into the post. Doherty, come on. You got to shoot. You have to shoot, and you have to make this. Thank you. Over Allen Houston. One point lead, 103-102. Uh, Carl Malone is already in the game. I don't know why. Uh, I, I mean, he hasn't done anything yet. And now it's Malone versus Giannis. The pass into Houston. Houston, he goes spin move back out to Johnson. Johnson, screen by Malone. Johnson's going all the way. He's going to stop around the basket. He's going to pass it over to Carl. Carl back out of the Scott. He doesn't want to smoke with Giannis. Back to Johnson again. Another screen by Malone. They're going to try with three seconds left. Kevin over to Allen Houston in the corner for three. That's off. Rebound by Daugherty. Giannis on the break. Goes tween tween. He's got room from three. And oh my God, Giannis Antetokounmpo pulls the three. Forget the old era. This is his era. We're trying to come back from down 3-0 right now. And that man just hit a smooth. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That's Dennis. That's 3D. I think uh, he hit the most three-point shot in a season in the 90s. Dennis Scott, that is. Unless I'm sure. Maybe it was the most threes in a game. It was something like that. I was looking through random stats, my friend. Giannis going to try. Okay, there it is. Gets the ball and the pass down immediately to Armstrong. Back out to Giannis. Giannis trying to get around Malone and he runs into the charge, but it's not a charge. He gets fouled. Let's watch the full free throw routine. Come on, guys. I'm excited. I'm ecstatic. Why are they showing me Allen Houston? I'm trying to see Giannis just sitting there waiting for the shoot the shot. Fine, bro. They wasn't going to show me anyways. Giannis at the line. Oh, God. I am not confident in that shot. It's kind of clean, but kind of murky. Kind of musty. Giannis, the second one is good. He it's both three point lead for Milwaukee. I think Scottie Pippen's out of the game now, which is annoying. But uh, Kevin Johnson around Giannis, he gets fouled. Okay, I thought that was gonna be an easy block, but I guess it's a foul. First one was good. He only has eight points on the night. He's like an 87 overall or something. No, he's like he was a 91 actually. Two point lead. Giannis playing point guard. My bad. One point lead. Giannis goes tween tweens on Carl Malone's. He's going nowhere. He gets double teamed. He gets double teamed. The pass away. Giannis gets locked up. One point deficit for the Magic. They're bringing it up the other end to end this series. Johnson out to Houston. Houston to the basket. He drops the ball himself. Armstrong recovers it. BJ on the break. He passes it down to Brad. Brad hands it off to Giannis. Giannis guarded by Malone. No double team yet. He's going left. He gets double teamed. He's going to the basket. He shoots it anyways and he hits it. Oh my god. Giannis, what has gotten into you? This man took the double team, hit this man to the ground, shot the mid-range shot like he was Mike or something. What is going on? And that might just force a game seven for us. We need one more stop. Dennis Scott is in the game. Be careful. Be wary of that man. That man is definitely the sniper of this team. The pass into Malone. Malone down to Houston. Oh, yeah. Houston, too. Houston layup is off. Rebound by Darty. He passed it over to Yon. He does not get the pass off. Can he hit a free throw? I feel like he would be able to. Yep, he does. And that is going to do it. We are going to win this series. I mean, we are going to win this game and force a game seven of the series. I kind of want to see Giannis like block a shot or something. Dennis for three. That one is off. Rebound. And that is it. They're, they're going to foul, but it doesn't matter. It's over. It is definitely over. Thank you, Dennis. 3D. 24 and 18 on 8 for 14 for Giannis. And uh, the Wizards are in the conference finals. That is Chris Weber's team. Game 7. Are we going to come back from a 3-0 after losing a 3-0 in, in the first round? Or no, we just lost in the first round. I think we did blow a 3-0 once though. But all that matters is um, we won by 37 points. Giannis had 34 of them with 34, 12, 3, and 4 blocks. Scotty Pippen put up 24 to help us out on 10 for 16 shooting. He's not the big time scorer of this team, but uh, he did just well. And look at this. The Clippers are the number one and it's either the Clippers or the Mavs. Can we beat the MVP Chris Webber? Is it possible? Our team is probably they're similar matched and Giannis is the higher overall, even though he's the MVP. Game one is going to be a win for them by two points. Let's just simcast the rest of them. Why not? This might be the, you know, it's been very scarce to get make it this far. This is our first time in the conference finals. Let's see what happens. Very small opportunity, very small chance, and we are going to win by two points. You saw it tick down. You could tell that we had the ball. We was going to win. Webber had 44. Thank you very much for uh, to Nick Van Uxel, actually. And oh my God, did you see how much of a lead we just started off this game? This uh, Yeah, this game. And they came back. They just came back entirely. We're up 17 to 38 after the first quarter and they came back and they are winning. Oh my God, I meant to pause it and I didn't pause it like an idiot. Oh wow, because O'Neal, wait, is that Jermaine? O wait, who, what O'Neal is that? It is Jermaine O'Neal. That man O'Neal missed a free throw. He missed a free throw. What? How did he shoot a free throw when the next period start? What the hell? He missed a free throw and then OT started. I don't know how to explain that, but it, it, that's what happened. But BJ Armstrong made the dunk to tie up the game and we are in OT. I, I would have genuinely paused it, but I bugged out and tr clicked pause and then unclicked it. Okay, Giannis is finally in a game. I don't have to sub this man in. And so is Pippen. Brad gonna pass in the ball to Van Exel. The screen by Brad. The pass down to Giannis and Weber was on it like white on rice. Weber the ISO. He gets double team pass over to Jermaine O'Neal for three. What the hell? What stretch big league are we 
we, you, there's no way you have a three point shot. There's, if he shot that, that's an all time sell. If he actually doesn't have a three point shot, he's a 26. Where was that in the playbook? That man is paid off by the Bucks. He did. I don't think he played for the Bucks, but it doesn't matter. Giannis, he has the three himself, and he hits it. Giannis is a sniper. Giannis, I just checked, only has. I mean, right now his like morale is up because he's in a game and playing good, but he is a 75 three. So he's just on point. As Chris Webber, he gets the block. Hey, good foul, Scotty. Hey, it's okay. It wasn't a charge, but it was a good foul. He was about to dunk the hell out that ball. So thanks to Scotty Pippen for the help defense. As Giannis, I wish he was the one playing help defense, to be honest. I wish Scotty was the one on Webber. There we go. Double team and Jermaine O'Neal gets fouled. He missed a free throw in the last in the regulation. He's only a 74. He must have had somebody foul out for him to be playing this many minutes as a rookie. And oh my God, another miss. 106 left, one point deficit, and he misses both. Giannis up to Van Exel. Van Exel, he goes spin, half spin. He drops the ball down to Giannis. Giannis against Webber in the paint. Back out to Brad. Brad over to Van Exel for three. It is off. That would have been the dagger. Is that Xavier McDaniel? This looks like a big body. Uh, Webber, the step back, uh, guarded, guarded by this dude, whoever this is. Pass out to O'Neal. O'Neal over in the corner. Douglas with the ball. They're running backdoor screens. West pulls up for three, and that is off rebound Giannis. Thank God. They're not going to foul, but he's only a one-point lead, and there's 25 seconds left. Van Exel with the basketball. Down to Giannis in the post. He gets double teamed immediately. Back to Nick. Nick for three. It is good, and we are going to win game three and take a 2-1 series lead. Douglas pulls up for three. That one is off. Rebound by Giannis, the tall bastard. We should be good. We should definitely be good. 136-130 win. Giannis, 34-13-5. and five. Chris Webber is dropping 40s consistently. He's always a great player getting 2K. He's like a power forward Gilbert Arenas. If you know, you know how Gilbert be playing. And he is on the Wizards, so I guess that's a fitting, you know, uh, description. Okay, they're gonna body us to tie up the series. So we worked really hard for that win, and they're going to absolutely body us. I mean, the last game, we were up by like 40 to 15 in the first quarter, and then they came back. So it's not, you know, it's not surprising to say that they are the better team. We just got out to an easy run. In this game, we were okay. We're, we're holding on. Come on, I need one bucket out of you. Just one bucket. Oh my God. They're going to win the next game as well. They're going to very easily do so by a 11 point lead. We're just hanging around down by 10 the entire game. Did Weber shoot nine for 22? Man, our last chance to maybe force a finals run. And we have not scored in a minute. It is 15 to 15 in this quarter. Big on Ted Acupo is yet again not in the game with two minutes left. Please sub in. I honestly have no clue why they do that. And I like number number five is kind of cool on Scotty. Scotty. Oh, oh my God. That was so pretty. West. He goes around. He's going around town. He's going around. Douglas. Weber is in the game, but they got him stuck in the corner right now. And we fouled, which means that Giannis will sub in. Why? Because I subbed him in. I don't care. Jermaine O'Neal into Douglas. Douglas. Pass back out to West. West. Oh, wow. They actually subbed out Chris Weber. That is a how the tables turn. West. The layup is off and up to Pip. I mean, up to Armstrong. Armstrong over to Giannis. Giannis the Hezzy. Go, oh, the little. Okay, look at him. The size up packages. That's uh, that's Brent Barry guarding him. Giannis goes behind the back. Gets double teamed. The pass down. Ricky Pierce with the layup. Douglas. The screen by Barry. Douglas over to West. West going nowhere. Back out to. Uh, oh, wow. Jermaine O'Neal hit a shot. No wonder he shot the three earlier. I guess it's his mid range high. Hold on. Let me let me give him some respect. Or maybe he just cooked us. It's a 70. It's a. Uh, yeah, you shot it with a little bit too much confidence. Oh, my God. Giannis. Giannis. Big dog. Big dog. What do I got to say? I mean, you know, you see it. Douglas. Okay. Switch on to Giannis. And uh, West to the basket. Okay. Daughtery tried to go for the charge. And Jermaine misses the layup. 33 seconds left. Up to Giannis. Giannis on the break. Giannis. Euro. Oh, my God. He's so dirty. He's so dirty. He's so dirty. That man was out with the with the wind. I don't know sayings. I sound like all the old people sayings and like just kind of botch them, you know? Um, And then just instead, I thought he was going to dunk on Brent for a second, but the Euro is even prettier. We are going to for is this a game? This is we're going to force game seven. Pass into West. Back out. Brent Barry. He missed the three. They, they actually want Giannis to shoot the free throws. We live in a different time period. Holy hell. MVP. 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 They give him all the chance. Don't No timeouts left for you bastards. This game is over. I don't care if you hit shots. Giannis had 33, 8, and 10 assists, and Weber had 40. He actually fouled out. He didn't sub out. I might have missed that. Unless he just wasn't in the game and I was tripping. Maybe I thought Jermaine O'Neal was him. The Clippers and Michael Jordan had made the finals. Either way, it's an eventful matchup. Giannis versus Jordan? Or, oh, my bad. Oh, wait. No, no, no. We have Pippen, too. I thought Pippen was on the other team for a second. You know, we need Pippen and Giannis to play Mike badly. And we may just get it. We may. We may. Yes, he's in the game. Finally. Mr. Antetokounmpo guarded by Weber. Oh, yeah. I think I thought that uh, Jermaine O'Neal was Weber last time. Weber wears four. I think I was looking at 42. I don't know. Maybe. I'm, yeah, they actually, they both have the headband for sure. For sure. Both have a four and uh, pass back out. Oh, 
pierce was wide but van exel is going to take it for himself he misses two point lead 96 94 west trying to get it okay he's taking it for himself down to weber weber against Giannis. Giannis, great defense straight up with it no foul 57 seconds left Giannis is going to take it for himself the double team may be coming the screen by daughtery Giannis for three again oh my god i don't want you to shoot threes but if you're going to you've hit two of them now that's two for three in the simulations thus far weber to the basket again weber down against any dunks all over Giannis. oh my god 40 seconds left we could choke or we could prevail come on the screen by daughter daughter re in the pass away stolen by the wizards wizards west on the break west down to weber weber against Giannis. he puts it up the block by Giannis. 23 seconds left Giannis makes up for that last uh that last dunk getting postered the pass into armstrong armstrong get it to Giannis in the post come on that's what's gonna happen but please don't let weber steal it again they have a timeout too that'd be terrifying but you know what we're probably gonna wait for the end of the, the shot clock there's no reason to rush it there kind of is though because it's Giannis, and it's gonna take a second to get into a play with him come on please get it to get it to him yes down to Giannis in the post four seconds left Giannis out to van exel for three van exel it's all it was a good pass it was a good thought i get it but you know he made that's like one of those passes that people get pissed off at lebron for when they're like yo bron shoot it you're lebron but it's a good pass i know he got contested a little bit at the end though but the spacing wasn't all that great i mean we're in the 90s for god's sake van exel has hit some big shots although he didn't miss one i think just like two seconds ago i'm probably just gonna simulate a little bit of time we score once i have it on the slowest speed and everything 103 103 149 left the pass into mr antetokounmpo he's making his way to the basket and nobody's gonna stop him. jermaine o'neal don't even try it he's like 30 years old he's real you know in his prime and everything they're gonna get it down to Giannis. Giannis steals it off the pass Giannis on the break all the way he goes into the post back out armstrong armstrong Giannis. Giannis. the screen by daughter and look at armstrong bj armstrong i was actually just watching an interview with him he was saying that michael jordan hasn't slept in his whole 14 year career and he would have been better yeah i don't know random fun fact michael jordan was a uh what's it what's it called i don't know weber a floater is off weber just choked wait hold on hold on that was a ball entered from under the basket that man Giannis just he grabbed it first oh my god that was a mean not a goal 10 but he, he dunked it he dunked it this man just dunked the ball he basically i mean i know his hand went through the room but he dunked the ball all right that should have that should have counted if 2k had i've never seen this before happen i feel like i would have noticed it if i've ever seen this but that should have been a dunk which is terrifying um pippen on the other end scotty pull up oh wow brad was wide open okay we'll just reset with Giannis. Giannis double teamed over to armstrong armstrong back out to pierce pierce over to armstrong again Giannis, they're setting some screens from on the side Giannis, the iso on weber over to armstrong again armstrong's gonna pull up for three Giannis has good positioning for the rebound no, he didn't even try 42 seconds up to douglas douglas going to the basket the block the great defense the rebound and that should do it i feel like Giannis has to have like an 85 free throw he must have developed that asset of his game they are not going to foul this time though they're gonna let him rock only a four point lead Giannis, oh my he has the lane and he stopped it's good though wait some time just in case you get a charge or something uh, okay i respect it is that jeff horn a second in the game yeah i see him in the corner uh okay Giannis, the screen Giannis pulls up moving three is off rebound by the wizards 11 seconds left they did not take their time out brent De oh my god Giannis, run with the wind run he's not even gonna go he's gonna go Giannis, what are you doing why did you wait why did he slow down why did you slow down you saw it i don't need to replay this why did you ayo this man hit a little oh yeah hold on hold on he like that's like when a football player does a touchdown celebration and they're five yards away except they got tackled like like that would they flaunted a little bit too much you ever seen like those street ball plays where players like they hit a mean crossover and then start dancing that's in the brand oh no that's hornacek in the corner and it's off and we win we are going to the nba finals the milwaukee bucks first time probably since kareem but yeah actually the, the time in real life in 2020 was the first time since kareem too right 2021 my bad oh they're not even showing the center court to show us getting our trophy for making it this far but okay 26 16 and 10 i gotta clap it up for chris weber just you know what i'm saying but um not enough 38 and 19 you also missed a very clutch floater but you shot 50 percent could have missed that in the second quarter and we are playing michael jordan Derek coleman and ron harper in the finals scotty pippen please put him on jordan i mean i don't control that but you know i, I hope he knows his moves he knows what he wants to do then jordan's probably just gonna take it personal if i put him on him, to be fair it's a close game they won though it hit they called him his airness with 28 9 8 and 5 Giannis 9 for 22 maybe they locked him up a little bit i don't know in the very least i'm just happy to be here in the finals but we can't have that happy to be here mentality you know what i'm saying we gotta you know what i'm saying win the finals don't sell now and you know i think they like to play uh they, they get confused on which point guard to play so they play nick van exel and and uh bj armstrong they try to so that results in Giannis on the bench every single time i subbed him in but yeah is that ron harper or is that common ron harper to the bass okay the hezzy back out to coleman Derek coleman for three that is off rebound 
down by Dudley. Chris Dudley, I believe his name is. Yep, he, yeah, okay, he just got in for the rebound. 140 seconds left, and the double team over to Brad. Brad in the mid-range area. He's going to go into the post. He's, no, don't shoot this. Don't, don't you dare. Okay, another double team on Armstrong. Back to, they are clamping us the hell up. Pippen, Pippen might have to shoot this shot. Pippen to the basket. He passes it back out. Vic, Van Exel, Van Exel, the rebound by Brad. No, it's taken by Coleman. 115 left. Jordan with the basketball. Jordan, the hezzy. He's uh, going nowhere. He brings it back out. He's going to the basket. He steps back again. Michael, he's uh, the, the floater shot. It's off. Rebound again by Dudley. No, the rebound by Brad. And Armstrong gets double teamed again over to Brad. In the post against Dudley. Come on, we need it. We need it from you badly. The fade away. It's good. Brad Daughter. Yes, we needed that one. Come on. The Bucks lifer. Come on. Come on. You're a center in the 90s. He had to have that shot in the arsenal. This ain't no Kevon Looney era. Sorry, Kevon Looney. Jordan, the spins, multiple spins. The layup is off. Rebound by Pippen. Giannis is still not in the game, but oh my God, look at Armstrong on the break. The easy layup and the Clippers are going to take a timeout. We take the lead with Giannis off the court. Jordan guarded by whoever the hell that is. I don't know. Jordan back out to D Brown. Brown the screen by Coleman. They are not giving the ball to Michael Jordan. I'm okay with it though. Brown, the pull up is off. Rebound Brad and that might do it. We might win this game. They have no timeouts left and Giannis is at the line. The first one is good. He's four for seven on the night, so he's not on like 99 shooters. So let's see. And the second one is also good. He's just clutch. Uh, the pass up in the corner. Oh, oh no, not Robert Ori. No, oh, my God. That was terrifying. It's Robert Ori. You don't mess around with Robert Ori. Where did you come? Why is that ref staring at Giannis? Where did you come from? You did not mess around with this man. He just came out of nowhere from way downtown. He only has a 77 three point, but that's Robert Ori. One more. Robert Ori. You <laughs> do not play with that man. The Clippers are going to win another game, though. So it was a 2 2 or 1 2. I don't remember. Giannis had 43 on great shooting. And Ron Harper dropped 34. Ron Harper was a star. This team was really good even before Jordan got here. Okay, it's 2 1. And they bodied us in the first quarter. We kind of edging, coming back into it, making our way to an L, it looks like. Come on, just one more bucket. One more. Two minutes left. They have the ball. Is he not going to be in again? Who cares at this point? Is that Rick Fox? We have Rick Fox on our team. Giannis fouled out. That's terrifying. Okay, he only had 18 points in 27 minutes and he fouled out. Good, hey, good job for holding it down then, team, but uh, we might lose. Michael Jordan looks awful in these Clippers jerseys. Oh, man. The pass out to McKee for three and it is good. That will probably do it. There's no way we make back. Scotty, you would be an all-time legend if this happens. Scotty, he's not going to take the three. He's going to pass it down to Brad. Brad, good layup. Good layup. I'll respect it. McKee again for three, and that one is off. Rebound by Wilkins. Pass up to Van Exel. Van Exel the Hezzy. He's got a big man on him, so he maybe he can take advantage of the mismatch. Pass over to Wilkins for three. Uh, I don't think that was the one. Rick Fox is definitely like a 70 overall, and oh my god, Michael just goes right by him. This is over. We're about to be down 3-0 in the finals. It's been real. It's been fun, but I mean, 3-1. Michael Jordan had 44 to Giannis being fouled out. Yeah, we can't have that happening. Can we somehow come back from another 3-1? It's possible. Okay, it's definitely possible. We're going to maybe win this game. Maybe. We're going to win. We're definitely going to win. 128. Uh, Jordan 49. Giannis 37. What a, what a duel. And it's over. It's over. We're not coming back. There's no way. Yeah, there's not enough time. Not enough time left in this game. We are going to lose the finals against Michael Jordan. D. Brown. Jo hey, yo, Michael. 18 points is all you needed to win? Come on. Giannis needed 27 just to get 97. Whatever, bro. Uh, what a great run, though. Michael, what a fun run. A lot of good games. 30 points, 6 rebounds, 6 assists. 57 and 25 on the season yet again. And uh, playoff stats, 29, uh, 11, and 5 for Giannis. Everybody played well except for BJ Armstrong. But he, he's still, you know, 3 for 8 isn't that bad when you think about it in that context. But he probably had a couple of bad games. And Brian Grant, too. Hey, there's Rick Fox off the bench. Not playing any. He's a se I said he was a 74, didn't I? But hey, it's Michael Jordan. He got his first championship against us. I'm honored. Kind of. Not really. Scotty Pippen, he also beat Scotty in that in that uh in that run and he also got kevin willis the old man wow kevin willis retired at 35 in real life he played until he was like 42 or something and magic johnson retired at 38 years old isaiah thomas retired i respect you for your years here even though you did really nothing you really disappointed god brooks and his glasses retired who could ever wear glasses not me james worthy hall of fame we're definitely hitting up his hall of fame ceremony and uh ooh, bucks via brooklyn anyway we finesse no nope, but i'll take the 11th pick that other team went up to uh top i think it was the nets or something went up oh yeah this is the tim duncan draft we can still draft us a cool little guy God, Sham God. He was in the... Wait, call me crazy, but I never knew. He played 20 games for the Washington Wizards in one season. I knew he didn't have a long career at the very least. Jet God, Sham... I believe he's an assistant coach now for an NBA team. Mavericks, maybe? In case you don't know, oh, that's the dude who, I guess, invented the Sham God. I would have either invented it, popularized it. Popularized is always a, is a correct, politically correct term to use. Who will we draft, though? Will we draft a bus? Will we draft God? Uh, Ron... 
got is Ron Mercer. Welcome to the team. He's got a 90 mid range and a 68 three point shot. Full 90s vibes. We're going to qualifying offer for Nick Van Exel. Hope we can get him back. We definitely need him. He was a big part pivotal. Or we could just sign somebody else. We'll see. I wonder if Brad, Brad might also be a free agent. I think I might have seen him. Any bucks? Nick Van Exel. We lost him to the Rockets. And we, what? We got John Stockton. John Stockton and Giannis. Forget Malone. John Stockton leaves Dallas, signs a three year deal, maybe with a player option with us. Did I just scroll through all of them and not see bucks for we have a mean big three. Oh my god that is how this is what you call free agency for us yes sounded like that what's that thing that that's what i called now the music tape thing from back in like 2000 uh what is it what was it i forget i'm tripping 18 they're both old though they are both old but and so is brad but old and good old and gold max berea what the hell yo hey yo dude who made this draft class why you make a max beret what is going on here max a million you put yourself in the draft class man give me this john stockton ron mercer in his rookie season starting scotty pippen Giannis, brad yeah i would say that losing uh nick van exel for john stockton is probably a worthy acquisition worthy uh trade off we'll see what happens though john stockton does have a championship scotty pippen does not that's a weird sentence to say he has championship experience and we're garbage we're absolutely garbage i have a feeling we're gonna turn it back up though that's a couple that's five straight six straight yeah okay we also lost ricky pierce we had ricky pierce i don't know where he went jamal mashburn one time all-star Giannis is a starter any uh stockton on here i don't see him you could tell me otherwise if you see him but i don't hey we had a great come up we we're back at the second seed right now or bordering on it each any, any cool trades happen um no not really actually fred hoiberg for a 30 31 first round pick chris weber mvp i'm feeling okay shaq dpoi i was feeling a Giannis dpoi this year but whatever doc river 67 and 15 so that means the sixes are really good no Giannis mvp yet but he is on the second team so he's behind weber and malone that's fair that's fair 25 and 11 him this season as well as a uh, five assists man haywood walkman or workman yeah that dude is crazy um i I think doc oh no doc rivers is the coach of the clippers again what the hell and they got dikembe mutombo oh my god they signed dikembe like i know he's only an 83 i guess he didn't reach expectations or whatever i mean i guess what do you what could he have been max probably like 90 something maybe a high 80 in his career but um and yeah they're, they're just nuts the clippers are nuts we're not nearly as good we're we're i mean somehow we're, we're pretty good but like i don't know i guess they just hate us we're playing jamal mashburn 91 overall that's the dude i saw that said jamal mashburn's a bucket in the comment section i never questioned it but i just saw a random dude giving him appreciation scotty pippen is submit oh wait actually ron mercer is shooting a lot uh for a guy this young and not shooting the greatest bobby here hurley is not shooting the greatest and so on and so forth but hey we'll live maybe first round and we're tied 2-2 two, two, up 3-2 and we're going to the second round okay i'll take it second round uh, cleveland was a upset they defeated somebody that i did not see yet they got Cam kevin gamble and uh reggie lewis kevin gamble sometimes you gotta bag the boss up i call that taking Corey gamble they defeated the uh charlotte hornets and um Christian Leitner, 107.95. We are down 2-1. We're going to come back and tie it up 2-2. Take a 3-2 lead. And thank you very much for defeating the Hornets because we were you were easy, easy to get other help. On. And we got a rematch. We got a rematch. This is the new. This is the new uh, big time rivalry. This is like Chris Webber versus Shaq, or like versus the Lakers, the Kings versus the Lakers. We we're gonna lose game one pretty convincingly, even though we got better and they're the same. I think um, unless Mark Price is new here, maybe. Yes, he is. 86 overall, Mark Price. I'm just gonna simulate again we're down 2-0 we got blown out again and we win a game we win by 10 we lose again by four i would say that this is a team that can come back from 3-1 but they're not except exactly showing me that we are about to lose in five games to chris weber Giannis, 17 on 17 shots is not the greatest pippen was just not worth the 90 overall and the contract for that like a 12 7 and 6 i'm not i i like defenders in this game now but i'm not paying all that for just one defender who's supposed to be like our third option score you know who's not scoring and then you got john stockton who doesn't like the score either so i mean then you got brad who's old and yeah yeah Giannis, he's kind of i mean hey solid run but uh the minnesota timberwolves charles barkley is going to win another championship it is a power forward league we and we are living in it so we are at the 98 draft class which means there is two years left uh yeah yeah i guess or no wait yeah we'll go two years we've been in here for eight so we're gonna make it a full 10 year simulation why not even though that'll stretch into 2000 it's cool that's basically the 90s dominique wilkins retired hawks legend no torn achilles this time around and no trades no nothing i always associate him and clyde with each other like when i think of them i mean obviously but like they also you know two dunkers dominique didn't get the ring but hey whatever any chance we traded for a pick this year is ron Mar mercer i mean he wasn't you know incredible but he he helped us and oh yeah by the way yeah i don't know what to do with those uh with that with that expense expansion drafting expansion like i don't i don't know how to yeah I, I think i turned it off at the beginning or something i think i always do so that it doesn't happen when i do simulations but it, it's okay who cares i feel like we don't have enough talent to go around in the first
first place. Kind of fun. It doesn't seem like this league stacks up to the to the regular like uh, you know uh, yes and no. Like the Hawks are still garbage. Kings are pretty garbage. They have Penny though, and the Lakers are holy hell. They're garbage. Those are just three examples. But hey, Tim Duncan's draft class. I would have loved to see Tim Duncan and Giannis together. Or my bad. No, no, no. This is uh Tim Duncan got drafted last year. This is Vince Carter, Paul Pierce, and Dirt. Wait, come on, trade up for a pick, please. Come on, trade somebody. I feel like we would be the team to like make one of those trades. And we got Michael Doliak. Like you know when they trade like a random role player for like the fifth pick or the tenth pick or something. But um, yeah, no, the best three, four guys, five guys went top five. So I guess it wasn't worth it anyways to trade for like eleven or something. That's some overseas dude. Why not? Why would we not take back Clarence Weatherspoon? He's a seventy-eight overall. Why not? Come on now, we're making they're not making money moves around here. Giannis is a free agent again, and we have the top offer. Well, I mean it's we are Giannis. You know we are indeed. Giannis, but the Bucks have the top offer. We'll see if he does indeed accept that. He's back. He loves Milwaukee, even in this generation. Shout out to Milwaukee. And did we sign anybody else? Oh my God. We got Charles Oakley. We got Charles Oakley. Of course we did. What else would you expect? 82 overall Charles Oakley, one-time champion, actually. Another champion, you know, he won it with the Knicks, him and Patrick Ewing. And um, yeah, Charles Barkley. I mean, Charles Oakley is going to join the man who he said would be a bench player. Well, do you want to start over him, huh? He's an 80 overall. Stockton's an 87. Pip it's an 88. Um, sadly, this does not, it brings defense, but it does not bring any more scoring than we already had. He only averages five and neither does anybody else. So that's, that's good. Any, who, who even, we have nobody on this team that averaged more than Pippen or Stockton, which is concerning because they only average 15 and 11. So someone's going to have to step up for sure. It might be Oakley. Hold on, I almost just put in the 1888 draft. Oh yeah, that would have been Abraham Lincoln draft class going crazy. They got Eric Patowski starting this year. They actually had him and then let him go. I believe I was like, hey, why are we letting him go? And then they let him go. He's not even that good. So yeah, I don't know what to tell you. Oakley might, Oakley Oakley or Giannis might end up playing some center because um, Brad's a 79 now. That'd be pretty funny to have Oakley and Giannis as the two big men. I got to show this, right? So there's this video of saying that Scott Foster and Ed Malloy trying to figure out who Jack Harlow is. And then Jack Harlow responded, look at this. We would like to refute sports censors claim that we don't know you from the NBA referees official page. Turn off the music, please. Holy hell. And um, yeah, th it's them singing Jack Harlow and impersonating his music video. That's that's incredible. Wow. What a beautiful play from Scott Foster. I uh, can't say that too often. I skipped past the all-star teams, but I still want to see him. Giannis is not a starter, but whatever. Who cares? We're the sixth seed. Um, he's probably carrying the hell out of this team. The Wizards are way better than uh, us. Stockton, Pippen, and Hurley are trying. I don't know. Hurley is an awful shooter, too, so that doesn't help. I saw a P. Jones on our team, but it's not Perry Jones. Shout out to Perry Jones, Thunder Legend. Chris Webber, Antoine Jameson, Rookie of the Year. Okay, Chicago. Okay, Chicago. You got yourself one. You could have kept Michael, but I mean, uh, Tracy McGrady, most improved player with the New York Knicks drafted. Him. Jared Jack is the coach of the year. This man hasn't even touched the league yet. It's kind of cool, though. I want to see become the coach of the year in a regular simulation or just a coach Giannis did not make an all nba team that's a little suspect and yeah, christian leitner made one it's tim duncan's here now kevin garnett took his spot and so did chris weber and so did christian leitner i guess and Giannis. i mean i know we have oh my god we missed the playoffs no okay now i understand yeah we missed the playoffs no playing game i was getting excited i was like oh we're the 10 seed maybe we'll play yeah no the supersonics win the championship led by tim duncan in we're in 1999 as well aren't we so he got it same year was this his rookie or second second season second good for him he averaged not nearly as good numbers as Giannis did, but he did it probably average maybe a little bit more blocks and had a better team. So good for him. Whatever. I'm not going to, I'm hating, but I'm not hating. Patrick Ewing retired, passing off the torch to Tracy, McG Tracy McGrady. What the, oh no, not John Stockton too. John Stockton retired. It just said he made the Hall of Fame. Oh, maybe, maybe it's a glitch. He's still here. So never mind. Yeah, no, they just bugged out. Hall of Fame, John Stockton. Yeah, no, he didn't retire. Wait, that means we have a lottery pick finally. We traded it. We traded it to Brooklyn. We traded it to Brooklyn. Oh my God. Oh my God. And watch, they get the first pick with it. Watch, they get, nope. They did not, but it's a. I still would have liked the 10th pick. Who the hell did we trade it for? We had no good players. Well, Brad expired, and so did Hurley, and so did everybody else except for the, our top four, actually, of Oakley, Stockton, um, Pippen, and Giannis. Got a second round bum. Why do I care? We're letting Ron Mercer go. This man was starting like two years ago. Is there any possible way we have money to sign like Shaq or something? No, but we do have 16 million, so they might sign someone decent. Let's see who they could possibly sign. Maybe a Hersey Hawkins. Oh, look at that. It's going to be him. They offered him. I didn't offer him. I just clicked it. I believe he played for the Bucks in real life, unless I'm tripping. Maybe I'm tripping. Shaq goes to the Celtics. He leaves um the Mavericks. Then again, um John Stockton also left him. Reggie Miller to the Wizards. He went on four different teams. Charles Barkley goes back to the 76ers. KG with the Nets. Sean Kemp Pistons. Michael Jordan Clippers. He's getting up there in age. At least he won one ring. We've seen ones where he didn't win any. Obviously, we we saw who we got. Hersey Hawkins. He's old, but and yeah, he's old and we gave him a lot of money. Man, that is terrifying. But oh my god, he doesn't even average a lot of points. At least he's efficient and he could fill in a role for us and maybe average a couple points because we need it badly. We signed back Brad and we also got Detlef Shrimp, who is also old, but used to average some points. Oh, this dude's a two-way contract. He's one of our best players. Yeah, we need to make a trade. We, you could trade the pick this year because this is the 
last season. And we suck. We're about to miss it again. Giannis is still a starter. Allen Iverson and Kobe Bryant are all-star starters. So is Marbury and Duncan. And Nash is here. We've seen the league switch into the new era that's going to dominate the 2000s. But um, it's not looking hot for Giannis' last year. Made it to the finals once against Michael Jordan. An accomplishment in itself to win a game. We won a game against him. I don't know. It's Michael Jordan. But hey, it's Scottie Pippen. You should have known his moves. But uh, we might make the playoffs, though. Chris Webber, Baron Davis, Rookie of the Year. Chauncey Billups, Sixth Man of the Year. Shaquille O'Neal, Defensive Player of the Year with the Celtics. Ew, number zero is disgusting on Shaq. And Robert Taylor, most improved. Jared Jack went 74 and 8, wherever he is. The Clippers or something, probably. Yeah, yeah, it's over. Um, There's no way in hell. Giannis made the third team alongside Vin Baker, averaging 27, 11, and 5. He's averaging the Giannis numbers every year, but this, this era is looking crazy. Oh, it's the Wizards. The Wizards are the 74 and 8 team. Did they sign anybody? They signed Reggie and Chris Webber. They got the TNT crew. And Jermaine O'Neal is actually good now. And D. Brown and Brent Barry. Jared Jack's having the time of his life over there. We only have 46 wins. Um, we, we could maybe match up against them, but and also the, the Spurs. I mean, my bad. The Supersonics. I'm thinking of Tim Duncan Spurs. Uh, Haywood Workman, Asia, Tim Duncan, PJ Brown, Allen Houston. They're nuts. Did anybody even attempt to help out Giannis this season? 28, 11, and 5 from him and Stockton's a set. Who the hell is Tariq Abdul Wahad? He played decent, actually. He helped settle a little bit. He averaged more than Hersey Hawkins and he's making 60 million less. Absolutely awful signing. I'll be honest. Just an egregious signing. Like in 2K, they don't know any better, but like you got to look at the guys who are averaging points, averaging assists. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, he's averaging some assists and we're about to get swept. Oh, it's Shaq. Oh yeah, I'm not surprised. Shaq versus Giannis. And we just got swept by the fifth seed. That is officially going to do it. Thank you for watching. This is as the Supersonics win back-to-back -back champions. This one against the Sixers who actually, the Wizards, the 72 win Wizards lost in the first round to the Hornets and Chuck Person and Christian Leitner. That is insanity. In six games too. Could They, they lost four games after only losing the eight the entire season. They lost half the, as many games they lost in the regular season in the first round. That is officially going to do it. Thank you for watching. You like, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to my channel at all. Let me know what the hell you want to see next. We got one hell of a dream team. I'll be honest. Oh, even right now, even right now, this is a pretty good team. I guess just the tendency screwed us over because we don't have a second score. Shout out to Giannis. Shout out to Steven Jackson. Shout out to start Charles Oakley. Shout out to Dirk Nowitzki. Shout out to Michael Finley. And shout out to Nick Van Exel. And I'm going to get the hell up and out of here. Bye.